Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the New York Knicks here in New York. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, DA. That's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. Well, we know the players enjoyed the rest they get during All-Star Weekend. But Greg, do you think it should be moved to later in the season? I like how the current format splits up the season, but it, it seems more fair to hold an All-Star towards the end of the season so that voters get a more complete look at each player. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Vucevic is out there at DeRozan. Then there's Lonzo Ball. Then there's Pippen. And it's Jordan in at the two. And for the Knicks, the forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Robinson in at the center, filling out the middle. Off the inbound pass. Rebounded by Vucevic. Here's Vucevic. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Pippen down low. Barrett covering. He had a nice open look right there. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Back to Brunson. Pass to Quickly. Five on the clock. Brunson with a clean look. A three-pointer off the mark. Jordan right side. Trains it from beyond the arm. Jordan. Jordan's Jordan. got five now. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Here it finds Brunson. Two free throws Bulls coming foul. up, and they call the shooting foul. Rosen. First and you foul. don't ever want to get Second into the habit foul. of letting the offense get to the rim. Jaylen He's Brunson. getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. Good on the second free throw. Now the Bulls with it. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. You know what? There was a lot of standing around in that basketball game. Failing to move bodies Michael and failing Jordan. to move the basketball is a bad formula. And no one has better natural scoring tools. But, but another thing that really sets MJ apart, the acute instincts he brings to the table. Now, here's Barrett. What a tremendous game he played against Toronto. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Nice D from Pippen. Well, as somebody who grew up in New York and New Jersey, I was a Knicks fan, right? They have such a great history. Think back to the championship team of the 70s. Walt Clyde Frazier, then the Patrick Ewing era, Bernard King. They have had so many Hall of Famers. Free throw good from Pippen. And Doris, growing up around New York, what makes this Knicks franchise so special? Well, I think certainly the energy of the city, the passion for the game of basketball, playing in the Mecca, how fired up opponents are to play in Midtown Manhattan. The Knicks are a team that everyone follows. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Pippen. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. And it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. 
it's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate and or for yourself. For your Knicks City Dancer, let me hear you once again. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Barrett finds Brunson. Here's Randall, DeRozan defending. Randall passes to Quickly. Out to Barrett. New York, no good that time either. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Here's Ball, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, he did everything right till he got to the rim. He needs to finish that. It's Barrett on the wing. He's covered by Ball. Barrett the pass to Brunson. No good there. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Outside for Pippen. Back to Ball. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Jordan. He can't get it to go. And New York will come the other way. That's a two from Randall. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Jordan against Robinson. Robinson with the block. This guy is nose for the basketball, and his timing as a shot blocker is Michael intimidating. Jordan. Mitchell Robinson so quick off his feet. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Here's Barrett following the basket by Michael Jordan. Barrett finds Brunson. Here's Quickly. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Knicks trail by 12. Now Barrett. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pippen with the steal. DeRozan passes to Pippen, and Pippen slams it in. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a streak. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Hartenstein comes in for Mitchell Robinson. And Hart subbed in for R.J. Barrett. Stolen by Ball. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. Wasted no time on that one. Jordan's got 12 in the game. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Hart the pass to Hartenstein. Quickly against Jordan. Here's Randall. Good. Nice job down low. Boy, you love the determination from Julius Randall. This guy has a knack for scoring against good defense. You know, Doris, I feel for guys like Emmanuel quickly. The college tournament canceled his final season. And that's brutal. You can never replace the excitement of March. But quickly is starting a long NBA career at last. That 2020 tournament cancellation ended a lot of college basketball careers. Runs in the pass to quickly. Here's Hart. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Jordan with the steal to the inside. And Scotty Pippen the bucket on the assist by Jordan. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Bulls. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. 
And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Here's quickly after the made shot from Scotty Pippen. He can't get that one to fall. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Here's Jordan. And then Jordan, Jordan slams it in. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing when to rise up and swat that one away. Randall against DeRozan over Randall. And DeRozan kicks the ball. Just five to shoot. Here's Jordan. And they recover it. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball. And the Knicks with possession here. New York's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now, here's quickly. He definitely had a good game in their win against the Raptors. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And that one, good. Vucevic has got his second bucket of the game to go. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Hart, wide open, he fires. Off the mark and the drop continues. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Jordan against Quickly. Puts it up from 12. The kick out to Ball. Quickly against Jordan. Back to Ball. Let's it go with a three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Ball's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Bulls. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Brunson, good. Cannon, Brunson. Just reliable, guys. He's just always Brunson. trying to make the right play. So timeout called timeout. here the first Chicago. for Chicago. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. A different look for New York. Grimes is checked in. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. The Bulls also changing it up. Drummond's checked Jordan. in for Vucevic. Derrick Jones comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Williams in for Pippen. Here's Rose after the made shot from Michael Jordan. And Hart has it in the corner. Back to Rose. No good. Great D that time from Jordan. Chicago's got a perfect 4-4 four four from beyond the arc. A lot of their points coming by way of the three in the first quarter. Over to the wing. Jones dishes to Jordan. Over Hart. Offensive rebound. Jordan the pass to Williams. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Jordan against Hart. Second shot opportunity. The shot by Jordan, no good. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for Chicago. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. Back right after this. Time to make some noise for your Knicks. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. So with Pippen sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Jones is out there with Andre Drummond. Then it's Williams. Then there's Lonzo Ball. And it's Caruso in at the shooting guard. Now here's Randall. A 26-point game for him in the win against Toronto. Such a 
tough proposition guarding Julius Randle in that area. This guy is capable on the interior. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And Drummond throws it down. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Here's Barrett. The Bulls getting their last shot to go. And there's a strength to R.J. Barrett that belies that thin frame. He's got toughness and the willingness to absorb contact. Now here's Drummond. 14 points from him the last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Yeah, but the rebounding in that game as well was just tremendous. I mean, he dominated the backboard. Rose looking around. Robinson kicks to Rose. Pass to Barrett. Outside Robinson. From deep. New York with a new 14. To the middle. Two on the clock. And Randall throws it down. This is the court awareness that gives you great Mostly hope for R.J. Barrett. 14. He's a scorer, but if he can complement that with passing, look out, folks. Jones and Jones with the stuff. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Now here's Rose. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Ball against Rose. Outside, ball. The pass to Caruso. Williams for three. Knicks with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And doors for teams trying to establish culture and institutional values. What makes that possible? How does that work? I think that begins from ownership through the front office and then down to the coaching staff and then finally to the players. But Kevin, we know this. It can't be just talk. Show me, don't tell me. You have to be accountable to your teammates and to the organization. Jalen Brunson was checked in for the Knicks. The Bulls also changing it up. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Derek Jones. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lonzo Ball. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Chicago. They've only given up six here in this quarter. And that one's good. Drummond. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now here's Brunson. A 14-point game for him in the win against Toronto. And guys, remember, remarkable passing the ball as well. He racked up a number of good assists. Robinson against Drummond. Four on the shot clock. And it's sent back by Drummond. Well, you can't teach size, is the old expression. And Andre Drummond making his presence felt defensively. Williams looking around. It's Beverly on the wing. And the shot goes down. Well, that's somebody who sees the whole floor and delivers it to the perfect wide-open shooter. New York's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. New York moving the ball around. Brunson, no good. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And of the last Assist six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Brunson after the made shot from Andre Drummond. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. The Knicks making a switch here. Quickly checked in. Vucevic checked in for Chicago. Pippen comes in for Patrick Williams. DeRozan passes to Pippen. And it's Pippen spun it down. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. And the Knicks with possession here. The Bulls getting the bucket. Passes it to Brunson. Barrett for three. A shot off that time. 
Nice D from Pippen. And the call will be against Emmanuel Quickly. That is his first foul of the game. Hartenstein's checked in for New York. Josh Hart comes in for Barrett. And Chicago also making a switch. Jordan's checked in for Alex Caruso. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Hart. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Can they get it? New York, no good that time either. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Rose and dishes to Vucevic. Kicks it out to Jordan. Offline with his three. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Robinson down low. Defended by Beverly. Here's Hart. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Boy, how about the Both awareness three. from the big man? We think of Mr. Robinson as a shot blocker. What a pretty pass. Josh Hart won't always have his shot falling, but the hustle is there. Michael and a Jordan. great energy guy three with points. major impact on the floor. That's his first triple of the second period, third of the game. Quickly with a wide open look. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Quickly against Jordan. Over quickly. That doesn't go either for Jordan. And for Josh Hart, he's a fan favorite because of his hustle. And that can go a long way in the NBA. Hart looks like a typical 3 and D player, but he also has that intangible of igniting a team. Now, here's Jordan. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Here is Robinson. Back to Brunson. And the rejection by Pippen. A deep three from Jordan. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it back. Obi Toppin's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. For your New York Knicks. Obi Toppin. The Knicks shooting in the second quarter has been pretty embarrassing. Just 27%. Back to Brunson. Gets in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now for the field. It really has been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Pass to Beverly. Jordan on the wing. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Over quickly. Jordan with the bucket. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 23 points. Yeah, it's just amazing the hang time Jordan gets, he, even on a simple jumper. Hart against Pippen. Hart the pass to Toppin. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They did a better job of getting it inside in that first. They lost some of that physical edge here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he was about a 76% shooter. Derek Rose is checked in for New York. Jones checked in for the Bulls. It's always fun to watch a young player like Obi Toppin adapt to the league. He has done a really good job rising to the challenge of Jared NBA Jones level Jr. play. And you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Now, here's quickly. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Inside. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist by Jordan. Six points for Vucevic. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now, here's Hart. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. The shot, no good. Chicago's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Outside for Pippen. Back to Jordan. Beverly for three. 
kept alive. Outside Pippen. Misses the three. The Knicks shooting about 26% out there. They need to get a better look. Hart finds quickly. Here's Hartenstein. A shot missing. Good work defensively by Pippen. Into the lane. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Nice drive by Pippen there. Terrific at just finding his way to the rim. From deep three-point range. And so it's Chicago. With a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching him today. Their defense has been active and effective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you an applause. Thanks very much. Alongside Coach Thibodeau. Tib, some stuff to clean up. What will the points of emphasis be going into the second half? Better defense. We keep allowing them to get second shots. Defense. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the... Chicago came out looking very confident. Their mission to dominate early was accomplished with a spirited 14-4 run to start. At the end of the first quarter, they found themselves way out on top. And that's a wrap. Your next city. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Michael Jordan in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Emmanuel quickly out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett at the small forward position. That's the five for New York right now. Randall no good. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Quickly against Jordan. Back to Pippen for three. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Jordan's got his eighth assist in the game. And the Knicks with possession here. Pass to quickly. Second half just getting started. About a minute play. Here's Randall. Another shot. Robinson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on DeRozan. Mitchell Robinson on the floor for his defense unequivocally, but this young guy is really coming on the offensive end. Great job drawing the contact. Ball kicks to Vucevic. Jordan looking around. Trying to find Vucevic. Gets it to him. Pippen the pass to Ball. Six to shoot. And he overshot that one, missing. There's the pass to Brunson. The shot will not fall. Excellent D there from Ball. Jordan outside. And he lays it straight Michael in. Jordan. Jordan's got 25 points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the net. And the call on the shot that sent. And here we go, coaches. Challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul, seeing if that was the right call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to have a challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, 
you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And finished off by DeRozan. Boy, how effortless does DeMar DeRozan make those slams look? This guy glides to the rim and makes it look easy. Here's Brunson and Paul with the block. Jordan against quickly. And Jordan gets Michael it to go. Jordan. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Back to Brunson. Quickly kicks to Brunson. On the wing quickly. Over Jordan. New York, no good that time either. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. There's the dish, the ball. And I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room ball has to throw when you factor in how efficient he is already. For Chicago, they have shot just one free throw early, one for one in the game. And New York making a change here. Grimes has checked in. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And Barrett has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Nothing yet for them in the third quarter. Here's Grimes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Robinson passes to Brunson. And just miss after miss right now. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Here's Jordan. Two points. That one goes. Jordan. Jordan's got 29. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Passes it to Grimes. Knocks it loose. Out of bounds. Knicks ball as bounds. New York keeps possession. New York ball. Here's Robinson. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And with that basket right there, it brings an end to that 12-0 run by Chicago. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Michael Jordan. I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Randall dishes to Robinson. I think obviously the shot block skills are the first thing you think of when you think of Mitchell Robinson. But this guy is showing signs of improving on the offensive end as well. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Alex Crusoe comes in for Scotty Pippen. Jordan. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Pass to Grimes. Brunson with it. Five points in the game. Barrett finds Randall. Back to Barrett for the three. And the Knicks miss again. Here's Chicago. What a stretch they've got going here. 17-2. Ball. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Ball's got nine. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's Barrett. Excellent D there from Ball. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop them, and that's never an easy task. Yeah, yeah. ball size makes Jaylen him Brunson. a difficult guy to guard. He foul. uses it well to 13. pick up fouls while shooting. Chicago Brunson shooting ball. their fourth and fifth at shots the at the foul line in the game. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. 
looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Josh Hart comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Rose in for Jalen Brunson. Hart against Williams. Three on the clock. And that's good for Derrick Rose for three. Rose has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Rose lead. Rose against Ball. Pass to Caruso. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's his first trip to the line. And he's at 70% this year at the foul line. Adequate, but not spectacular. At the line. And so Caruso nails both of them. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Rose double team. Hard against Williams. The kick out to Rose. Not enough on that one as it misses. Well, Chicago's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Outside Williams. Feeds it to Drummond. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Drummond's got eight. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. And here is Hart. And there's the pass to Grind. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And he's got his first free throw of the game. The first one falls. Obi Toppin's checked in for the Knicks. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Chicago. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Chicago. Following this one, they get to host the Rockets. That'll be the first of four played at home for them. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. The reviews have been good for the league's moves to eliminate foul calls on non-basketball moves. The NBA said it wanted the game to be played, not manipulated. Raymond Green says it helps to know that you'll have more of a fair opportunity as a defender. Guys can't just cheat the system. Kevin, back to you. That's great to see, David. Thank you. Jones, no luck. New York shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Here's Grimes. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Two minutes remaining to the paint. The Two minutes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. The vision by Rose, right? Hits the open man. He's creating for others. Rose and this guy is so 91. tough to deal with. 33. Ball with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. Here's Grimes. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Let's it go. And Ball with the block. And Ball using those long arms to just swat away that shot. I love the hustle. Always nice to have a point guard who can block shots. Williams kicks the ball. Shot clock at five. Yeah, the defender Next. all over. Oh, the Bulls have shot six or seven at the line. And that's good from Ball. And New York making a change here. Rickley's checked in. And a change for the Bulls. Vucevic is checked in. New York's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Quickly up top, seven foot shot, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Bulls making a switch here. Pippen's checked in. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And here are the Bulls now. Pippen is doubled. Williams for three. Pass to Vucevic. Pass to Pippen. The kick out to Williams. And another miss by Chicago. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. 
That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Ken Birch is checked in for Toppin, and he's good on the second. Here's Beverly, four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Kicks it out to Jones. Back to Beverly. Down low. At the elbow, Williams. Second chance shot. That will count. No good. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Bulls delivering the blowout. And we're coming right back after this break to get the four. Now let's hear what Coach Tom Thibodeau was reviewing with his. Defensively, it's too easy down there. It's too easy. Keep the ball in front. Challenge shots. Long. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group Billy Donovan has on the floor. They've got Drummond. Williams is out there with Derek Jones. Bulls then it's Patrick Beverly. Patrick and it's Terry in at the shooting guard Patrick. position. And even with the ratings going five. strong, the younger generations often cord cut the Bulls. How does the NBA engage that on? Kevin, I think making game action trend on social media and when big moments happen for uh, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it. It's like highlights, but live. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Stolen by Ball. Pippen, the pass to DeRozan. And finished off DeRozan. by DeRozan. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Outside Rose. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. That'll be his second, second foul of the game. Foul. Second team foul. Here's McBride. To the inside. Here's Sims. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First person. No question, he got bumped on that foul. shot. And that one falls for Sims. Jericho and the Knicks making a change here. Grimes has checked in. The Bulls shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. Jordan kicks to Vucevic. There's Ball with the three. Rebounded by Rose. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Knicks. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Well, the reach, the timing, Vucevic using all of that 7-4 wingspan to turn that shot away. Goes back up. Now Jordan. And there's the drive. And he banks Michael in the lane. Jordan. Jordan's got 36. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. And they're bringing you up close and personal at the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Pass to Grimes. He's looking for Birch and finds him to the paint. Here's McBride, and he gets the bucket. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness of the offensive end? The Knicks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Grimes, and the rejection by Pippen. Elite at both ends. Pippen sees the play develop, and then the perfect timing on the block. Here's Grimes. Here's Sims. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. To the middle. Here's Pippen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. We know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. 
I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect, also how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. The pass to Dosunman, back to Pippen. He takes it in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Last year, as we know, the NBA, Doris, named the members of the 75th anniversary team. Any players that were missed that you think should have been on that list? I mean, the one guy that comes to mind immediately is Clay Thompson, who will go down as one of the great shooters in NBA history. The problem for voters, I think, is the challenge of weighing the accomplishments of prior generations with what we are witnessing today. It is a challenging vote. There's no doubt Clay will be top 100 when it comes in 25 years. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Well, you're looking at the MVP race last season between three incredible big men with Jokic, Embiid, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Analyzing that, Doris, what's your big takeaway? The idea that the big man, the five spot in the NBA is obsolete, that argument is over. What impresses me is the skill level of NBA players, particularly manning the center position in the modern age. Highly skilled, can shoot it, can take it off the bounce, and are exceptional passers. Boy, this is fun to watch. Vucevic trying to get open, and Pippen gets it to go. Pippen's got 12 points here in the second half. This is a big-time game for Scotty offensively thus far. He's setting a high bar for the rest of the guys on that end. DeMar DeRozan, fifth personal foul. First free throw is good. Quentin Grimes at the line. He's perfect from the line this time. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. For three, Pippen. A new 14 for the Bulls. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. New York's gone ice cold from three-point land 0 of 4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's McBride. Bulls foul. Scotty Pippen. Second personal foul. Team and that one misses. Chicago making some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Scotty Pippen. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Bulls. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Here's Dosunmu. No good from outside. Vinick shooting around 24%. Not a good showing here. Here's Grimes. Defended by Caruso. Now, here's Toppin. Here's McBride. New York, no good that time either. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. Vucevic down low. And the layup fall. Well, Vucevic has got a number of moves he can go to. He's so comfortable this close to the cup. Rose passes to McBride. Inside. Here's Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Passes it to Beverly. Vucevic down low. Toppins there. And so here is New York. Here's Rose. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Dosunmu. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the game. 
Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initial, like KD or AD or KG. Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Uh, initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Yeah, but just the second turnover of the game. I mean, overall, pretty meticulous offensively. And the Knicks making a change here. Hart's checked in. Left side, Rose. Sims inside, defended by Drummond. And too much time in the lane. They get three called for the three-second violation. Ball. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Well, I think it kills your energy, and it certainly kills your momentum. Here's Terry. And foul Next on the foul. shot, so he'll get a Obi chance Toppin. at the line. Second person, no foul. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. Foul. And the first one drops. Terry at the line. He hits both from the stripe. New York's gone ice cold from three-point land, 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Hart, and it's sent back by Drummond. Terry outside. Pass to Drummond. Six for six. Andre He's yet to miss from the field. Yeah, such a rarity these days, but Andre Drummond is a true five. The guy wants to work on the interior. And the pass to Sims. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft class, in particular, looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. New York shooting 23% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Here's Rose. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Terry finds Drummond. Now here's Dosumu. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Three seconds. Knicks ball. Now the Knicks with it. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Bulls. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And they've really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Scottie Pippen. You can set a tone with defense, and that's exactly what he did with how he protected the rim. At the top of the key, Sims. Lock at six. And Bulls there's foul. the call on Patrick Beverly. Beverly. That's his third, third, third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Ken Burge has checked in line. for the Knicks. Two shots. And both free throws good for Sims. Chicago with the ball. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Terry with it. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. Free throw, good, Terry. At the line. So he gets them both. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the New York Knicks. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And you can see the advantage of running the offense through Derrick Rose, showing strong decision-making, really nice pass. Bulls lead, 116-51. On the wing, Terry. 
And that'll be Next two free throws coming up. Officials Myron on the call with the foul. First free, free throw, foul. good. Terry. Fifth team foul. Terry. And both free throws good for Terry. And here's Rose. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. They don't need home cooking feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Jamar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Uh, we're just making everybody comfortable. We're making each and everybody on this team comfortable. If it's jump shots, if it's sacking a basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end, you know, we're just giving each other confidence every time we practice. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Oldman, this is.